recently started a $50 million fund backed by PayPal. Before we get into what your, your company does, can you kind of explain to us how diversity and inclusion, it fits into tech investing and also in the future of work? That's a great question. The truth is if, if entrepreneurs are going to be the change makers, the change agents of our country, then it has to include everyone. So with our inclusive investing strategy, we're proactively sourcing and investing and helping scale high growth entrepreneurs who are directly um, building solutions that are bridging our country's wealth and skills gap. And technology, to your point, can, can be can level the playing field um, as, we, as we've seen over, over time in, across all sectors. So when we look at the future of work, we all understand the workplace is changing by force through the pandemic, but it may also change in some other ways as we all learn to work differently. Um, something that really uh, caught my eye is that in the president's $2.3 trillion infrastructure bill, it included more than half a trillion to train home health care workers, money for small businesses, also home money for residential construction. Um, how will this infusion of capital in all these areas, along with roads and bridges, how will that impact the future of work? That's a great question. So effectively, the infrastructure bill is a jobs bill, and it will essentially allow to support new infrastructure, new resources, especially as we think about uh, upskilling and reskilling the American workforce. Now, uh, last week, we saw that we added 900, just north of 900,000 jobs, 6% 6, 6 unemployment, but still 30, 30 million plus workers remain un and underemployed. And so ensuring that uh, all workers, all American workers from manufacturing, blue collar, white collar jobs, um, have the necessary resources to remain competitive in today and tomorrow's workforce. All right, can you tell us a little bit more about Zeal Capital? Uh, what kind of companies are you looking to invest in? And why is it important to really focus on diversity and inclusion when you're doing tech investing? Absolutely. So today, Zeal Capital Partners serves as a Washington, D.C. base. Inclusive, we coin ourselves as an inclusive investment vehicle, laser focus on backing diverse management teams um, that are rethinking the building blocks of wealth from education to employment to financial wellness that we believe triple charges economic, economic mobility. And we do this through two, through two sectors, financial technology and the future of work sector, as you alluded to. And for us, it's, it's really, we spent the past two years at pre-pandemic market mapping these, uh, these two sectors. And we, we noticed from a market opportunity that continues to be a great deal of early stage high growth companies um, all the way from rethinking um, alternative pathways to education to new training and skill development programs to credit access expansion to you know, infrastructure for new and small businesses. And so we're super excited to be a, a, a sector specific just given our domain operating and investment acumen to, to really source, invest and help scale early stage businesses that we're not just investing in people, but solutions as well. And so but the idea also to your point around DNI is that great entrepreneurs exist everywhere. And so we're, our inclusive investing strategy allows us to widen our lens and ensure that we're, that more entrepreneurs, particularly underrepresented entrepreneurs, women-led entrepreneurs are getting a fair swing of the plate at capital so they can scale their businesses um, and see and maximize their full potential. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.